Welcome to the spoken tutorial on introduction to insulin resistance. In this tutorial, we will learn about the normal response of cells to insulin. The change in response to insulin when there is insulin resistance. The traditional definition of diabetes. Root cause of diabetes. Let us begin. Our body needs energy for survival and growth. Glucose is a very convenient source of energy for humans. Multiple molecules of glucose form starch. Starch is a type of carbohydrate found in our food. Carbohydrate-rich foods are abundantly available and are cheap. So we consume a lot of glucose which is a type of sugar through such foods. Harmful consequences of eating a lot of dietary sugar are widely known. Dangers of high and low levels of blood sugar are also well known. So, our body should convert dietary glucose quickly into energy or body fat. This helps us to maintain a normal level of blood sugar. The pancreas maintains a fasting blood glucose level between 70 and 99 mg per dl. mg per dl stands for milligram per deciliter. This range is maintained by the insulin hormone produced by the pancreas. Insulin is explained in detail in another tutorial in the same series. Please visit our website for more details. Next, let's discuss the traditional definition of diabetes. It is based on blood glucose levels. Fasting blood glucose levels are checked on two separate blood tests. 126 mg per deciliter or higher level is diagnosed as diabetes. However, a higher blood glucose level is just a symptom of a disease. It is not the disease itself. It is an effect of something going wrong in the body. It is not the root cause of diabetes. It does not provide a better understanding of the disease and its treatment. Suppose your blood report shows high blood glucose levels. You consult a doctor. You describe your problem as high blood glucose levels. The doctor will give you a medicine to lower your blood glucose levels. This medicine treats the symptom and not the cause. Let us understand what is the root cause and define diabetes accordingly. Most of the food we consume is converted into glucose in the body. This glucose enters our bloodstream. Glucose from the blood has to enter the cells to be converted into energy. Cells have membranes that allow the entry and exit of molecules such as glucose. Entry of glucose into the cell requires help from insulin. Insulin sits on the insulin receptors present in the cell membranes. This starts a chain of events which results in glucose entering the cell. Glucose will not be able to enter the cells if there is no insulin. It will also not enter if the cells do not respond to the insulin signal well. If glucose does not enter the cells, the body will not get enough energy. The glucose will remain in the blood. This will raise the blood glucose levels which we see in the blood report. Hence, the root cause of diabetes is glucose not being able to enter the cells. Now, let's understand and define diabetes on the basis of this root cause. A person has diabetes if the mechanism of entry of glucose is impaired. 
it is not being carried out effectively and efficiently in the traditional definition insulin played no part at all however insulin is very important let's discuss the relationship between insulin and glucose concentration suppose your fasting blood glucose level is 70 mg per dl your fasting insulin level is 5 units however for some reason it is not able to push glucose into the cells this will increase your fasting blood glucose levels from 70 to 75 so 5 units of insulin are not enough to maintain glucose levels of 70 therefore the pancreas will produce 6 units of insulin this will push a little more glucose into the cells temporarily blood sugar levels will drop down to the normal level of 70 However, the mechanism of glucose entry still has a problem. It will only keep getting worse from here on. Soon, the 6 units of insulin won't be enough to keep the glucose level at 70. So, the pancreas will keep secreting more units of insulin. This will manage to keep the glucose level at 70. it may increase to 80 but it will still be within acceptable limits the cell is not sensitive to the presence of insulin it is resisting the effect of insulin and not letting glucose enter the cells this process is called insulin resistance pancreas response to insulin resistance is to produce more units of insulin This is to keep glucose levels in the normal range. Since insulin resistance is not treated, more and more insulin is produced. Soon, even higher levels of insulin are not able to keep normal glucose levels. Eventually, the blood glucose levels will be higher than 100 units. This is diagnosed as pre-diabetes. then it progresses further and the blood glucose levels rise beyond 125 this is diagnosed as type 2 diabetes this is not good now the person has both high glucose levels and high insulin levels insulin is produced by the beta cells of the pancreas higher insulin production at all times increases their workload say the body is making 15 units instead of 5 to do this beta cells are working 3 times harder than normal beta cells cannot sustain this workload for long they will die eventually also high levels of insulin have many other harmful effects on the body The effects are discussed in another tutorial in the same series. However, it takes many years for the body to be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. At any point in those years, we can focus on improving insulin sensitivity. Lastly, let's discuss the main difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. In type 1 diabetes the body does not produce insulin at all without insulin glucose does not enter the cells the body does not get enough energy insulin is injected externally that is why this type of diabetes is called insulin dependent diabetes whereas in type 2 diabetes there is never a deficit in the production of insulin the body produces enough or excess insulin due to insulin resistance the body is not able to use the insulin produced by the beta cells properly 
injecting external insulin becomes necessary when overworked beta cells die that is when type 2 diabetes gets converted to type 1 diabetes we must therefore correct insulin resistance it is the root cause of type 2 diabetes a higher glucose level is just a symptom of diabetes lifestyle changes are important to correct insulin resistance how to improve insulin sensitivity is explained in another tutorial this brings us to the end of this tutorial thank you for joining